Let's look at a special case of vector addition. So focus on this. Okay, so here we have a rigid body, and we've got this force F1 and F2 applied at those points. And we would like to know what is the resultant force, the vector sum of those two. Well, we can see that if I'm applying a force there and a force there, then most likely this object, this body, would experience a vector sum in that direction. So here is a special case. What do we do? You apply a force F and a force minus F. Okay, over there, a force F with magnitude in, in the direction from that point to that point, and a force F from that point to that point in that direction. So what does this do? Well, again, what is the net external effect? Remember, rigid body, we're only looking at the external effects. The net, the net external effect is... Nothing. F minus F. It doesn't change anything, but it allows us to now use the parallelogram law to get a vector sum R1 there and a vector sum R2 based on those two forces. And these two now become concurrent. There's R1. Remember, principle of transmissibility is R1, is R2, and then we can use the parallelogram law again to calculate or draw, find R. So this is now the vector sum, the resultant force of F1 and F2. Special case.